Exarch presents. On behalf of ICOM Germany, the German National Board of International Council of Museums, I would like to welcome you to this virtual conference. The 2003 UNESCO Convention for the Safeguarding of the Intangible Cultural Heritage defines Intangible Cultural Heritage, ICH, and highlights its role in the preservation of cultural diversity. It is a living form of heritage, oral traditions, performing arts, social practices, inherited from our ancestors and passed on to our descendants, providing a sense of identity. As an expression of its involvement in the safeguarding of ICH and the implementation of a 2003 convention, ICOM obtained an accreditation and provides advisory functions to the UNESCO Intergovernmental Committee of Safeguarding Intangible Cultural Heritage. ICOM believes museums have a role to play in the protection of intangible heritage and is committed to the defense of this vulnerable heritage. Heritage embraces more than collections of objects or monuments. It includes intangible manifestations, such as traditions of living expressions. The ICOM definition of a museum recognizes the role of museums in the preservation and protection of both, the tangible and intangible heritage of humanity. Museums can contribute significantly to the safeguarding of intangible heritage, using their mandate, infrastructures and resources to develop creative initiatives about its preservation. At ICOM's 20th General Conference, which took place in Seoul in 2004, awareness was raised about the importance of intangible heritage for cultural and biodiversity. A long-term outcome of that conference was the International Journal of Intangible Heritage, published by the National Folk Museum of Korea since 2006. It is an academic and professional journal dedicated to promoting the understanding of every aspect of intangible heritage worldwide. The Intangible Cultural Heritage and Museum Project, or IMP, which started in 2017, explores the variety of approaches and practices on ICH in museums in Belgium, the Netherlands, Switzerland, Italy and France. IMP fosters cross-disciplinary peer learning, develops professional skills and tools, and creates international networking possibilities for the exchange of good practices. ICOM contributes to the project as a member of the think tank. Through its participation in the international conferences, expert meetings and technical meetings for the implementation of the toolbox, the think tank's mission is to act as an advisory board and provide views, opinions and expertise. In Germany, some work has already been done on this topic. In December 2019, the first results were announced of the survey on intangible cultural heritage in the museum, carried out by ICOM Germany and UNESCO Germany. For six weeks, the German UNESCO Commission and ICOM Germany, with the support of the Museums of Ur European Cultures in Berlin, asked museums in Germany how they deal with intangible cultural heritage. Representatives from a total of 135 museums took part in the online survey between September 23 and November 4, 2019. From large museums in Berlin, Hamburg, Munich and Leipzig to regional and local museums. The results show that more than three quarters of these museums have already engaged with intangible cultural heritage. For some, the International Museum Day 2019 in May, under the motto Museums, Future of Living Traditions, was an incentive to address the topic for the first time. More than half of the museums participating in the survey have adopted intangible cultural heritage in exhibitions, including various traditional handicraft techniques such as porcelain painting, or artistic processes such as printing techniques, festivals and customs or historical garden cultures, as well as music, dance and theatre. Many museums also strive to preserve intangible cultural heritage through their collections, especially by storing written documents and film, sound and photo recordings. Objects, however, are also understood as material evidence of intangible cultural heritage. In addition, the survey showed that the participating museums rate visitors' interests in intangible cultural heritage as fairly high or even very high. Most representatives of the museums regard events such as workshops or practical demonstrations as the best format for conveying intangible cultural heritage. 
In order to continue to make intangible cultural heritage accessible to visitors, the museums would like, among others, the formation of a network that would consist of museums and advocates of intangible cultural heritage, as well as other experts. To be able to work efficiently, however, there is a need for certain technical requirements in the broadest sense. For quite some time now, Exarch has worked together with its members, especially with the archaeological open-air museums, on their professional development and on different methods regarding intangible heritage issues like prehistoric handicraft techniques. For this purpose, this conference has been prepared by Dr. Hooland Paardenkoper from Exarch and Dr. Julia Heep from the Museumsdorf Duppel in Berlin. Thank you very much for addressing this important topic. ICOM Germany is looking forward to the conference and its results. Good luck with it and best wishes.